Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Man. Oh. Jeebus. Where did he detonate on that? Got him. G'day everybody and welcome to another full scale fishing adventures episode out on the river early this morning it's making a quick coffee and then we're heading out for a top water session the weather's been a bit miserable lately and this is the first clear morning we've had for a number of days so fingers crossed it's going to be good but coffee time first and then we'll get into it So I'll put myself at the top of this amazing run of timber for the first part of the morning. So I'm just gonna throw the uh, hunchback cocky pattern. And because we're fishing smaller water, I've gone with the six foot six medium heavy Komodo. And that's got 50 pound platypus braid and a 60 pound hard armor leader rigged on the 273 good small water combo. And steam rising off the river, which is always a good sign that something's gonna go down. A little bit different in the morning, you know, I think you get fish that'll be up and about on their snag, but You'll also get fish that'll just be out and about on like, you know, sort of nothing banks or like just in front of me here, a set of spinlies. Because the light's low and they've had all night to, um, you know, had all night to themselves. They go and sit in some pretty shallow stuff sometimes. Don't tell me there's not one on that. What an absolute banger of a log that is. Hundred percent he'd be able to hear that. Yeah, I sort of find with these small waters like this, because there's stuff to fish everywhere, you really have to pick 
your side and plan where you're going to end up because you end what can happen is you end up fishing everything badly whereas if you just focus on where you're going to position your boat um, and pick a side I think you make use of the timber a lot better So it turns out the cocky did not like being fully smashed against the log at 100 k's an hour. So we uh, changed over to the duck. It's a little bit sad, me cocky. Do you like the duck though? No buffs yet. I mean one of two things. It's either the fish aren't biting or I'm about to catch a whopper. Everything looks good. Lure's going through all the good places. Something's gonna happen. Ah, oh, you think that'd get nailed. Guns pile. <laughs> that sound. <laughs> Let's see if he'll come back. That's a big one. That's a big one. Man. Oh. Jeebus. Where did he detonate on that? Got him. Got me on the log. Uh, get out of there. Oh, he came off. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Oh. Best log on the river. Biggest scunge pile. Oh, I haven't had, hadn't had a bite all morning. And then hook a giant. 
Oh, I can't believe he came off. <laughs> oh, doesn't that hurt? It really hurts. That was a big bopper. Yep, it just sucks so much. Him. Tangled the lure, tangled my hooks. I hope that's why. Uh, that's not why I missed it. I don't so. Right up in the shallows, too, eh? Hey? Oh, there it was again. <laughs> He's angry. Come on, eat it again. Got him! Yeah! <laughs> ah. Nice. Nice, nice. Where's my remote going? Here. That was cool. Very cool, beautiful fish. Spot lock, but I think I might just run into a log anyway. Hang on. Yep, there we go. Here we go. It's a consolation prize for losing that giant this morning. So cool when they buff it multiple times, eh? Just love catching cod off the surface. It is the best. All right, let's get him back. He was not coming off. Nice. Well, the sun is well and truly up and about now. Um, so surface time is done. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure you give us a like, leave a comment, and there's heaps of cod stuff coming up on the channel, so make sure you subscribe and then you won't miss any of the episodes. I'll catch you all next time.